Help! I'm trapped inside this glass jar! <laughs> the mechanoid war rages on, little rimrims, but our people are on the precipice of creating a weapon capable of surpassing Metal Gear. It basically is Metal Gear. With the completion of Pulse Charge Munitions, we have the ability to create mech weaponry, and with the completion of mech weaponry, we have the ability to create mechs, and then with that, we can get more mechs, etc. Et you know how it works. But that's just one angle of attack. Whilst we've been waiting on days and days of research that we finally almost completed, in the background here, delicious, tasty, fresh, sludgy luciferium. Now I established we weren't going to sacrifice our humanity, we're not going to change our limbs out for machinery and bionics and brain implants and inject ourselves with luciferium and become as bad as the mechanoids that we're here to kill. But what we can do is grow giant blue men in jars and then inject them with the mechanoids and download our brains into them. <laughs> no humanity sacrifice. Perfectly ethical experiments. Now in all this time we have had the weak members of our colony pruned. They have been destroyed, they have been wiped out, and we are left with a powerhouse of characters. Big General Payne himself with remarkable fashion sense. Chainsaw hands, arguably the one. She has uh, chainsaws for hands. Then there's Naughty Pickers, who helped dismantle all those mechanoids yesterday. Kirillin, who a lot of people in the comment section have said I've been sleeping on, and to be fair, she also did basically save the colony. Without her, we wouldn't have had enough time for chainsaw hands to come back and finish the rest of the mechs. And then we have literally almost blind Boone, who is getting the big blue body because he is actually almost blind and his brain is falling apart. And I think he's missing a few limbs. We've whirled up. Oh, I suppose there's also King Snitch <laughs> and Sachiko. <laughs> We've whirled our people down to seven of the greatest. Seven of the greatest people we could ever need, but there are only four mechs, and we're only going to build one of each. So we need to decide which four of our people will be mech pilots, which four people we're going to have out there on the front lines. Uh, so that's basically the plan for today. Uh, any questions? Well, I've got a question. I don't know how I'm going to pull it all off, but we'll figure it out. Something will happen, I'm sure. So we can actually build extra copies of the sleeve incubators now. Can we reinstall them? Uh, what I might do is let's get rid of this door up here. Try use this lab space a bit more effectively. Build just a shitload of these things. We need a way to make neutramine for the sleeves as well. So the only way we can do it is either we synthesize it from meat, and there is only one meat on this planet besides our colonists, and that's other human beings or the occasional animal transport pod or manhunt pack or whatever turns up or we could potentially get ourselves a new training synthesizer from vanilla mechanoids expanded but it's a long way out yeah unfortunately we can't grow any bodies until we've solved that significant problem we grow meat can you grow meat like lentils a mushroom? That's that's like the meat of the plant world oh I like this idea we could double side it and have just a tiny little walkway in the middle and then just lines and lines of chainsaw hand clones ready to be doped up on all sorts of ridiculous luciferian based drugs. Lifters, downers, uppers, sidesers, smelling salts and other condiments are available. In fact, all we need is just basically more, or all that we get, all the plastic we need from the mechanoids. We just need new training again. Do we need anything else? We could give a yayo. Yeah, why not? What a socializer. Feeling anxious, be the person you always wanted. Oh, wow. Uh, Glitter World Fragments, right, from, uh, that's another kind of similar effect to the Scarlet things. We haven't started work on that yet. One thing at a time. And now, show me the mechs. Shit. Um, Plague Coating. Well, that's not exactly what I wanted, but that sounds, although, why am I, why am I going to try and use the plague on Mechanoids? There is a slight problem with that otherwise incredible plan. <laughs> Gluttonet. Sure, let's go for the Gluttonet. That'll help out quite a lot. Now, since we've started, other factions have been attracted here. Lots of other settlements have popped up, because that's just how the game works. They'll pop up over time. So we've got a bunch of new people, I guess, have, have followed in our wake. Bunch of random tribes, people that maybe have crash-landed, much like we did. We could be the baddies and go out there and, you know, collect people to fuel our plans. <laughs> <laughs> Given that the premise of the series, though, was humanity first, I feel like it's a last resort. I can't believe I'm about to say the words I'm about to say. I mean, this is nice and all. We haven't got any damn resources on a planet literally made out of steel. <gasps> my god. Oh! Oh my god, I thought it was mechanoids. Okay. Hello! Maybe some people for the meat machine. Hello! Oh, people for my meat machine. You can have... Really? <laughs> I might have wanted to recruit those people, but you know what? Never mind, I guess. Big Ben. Big Ben is big boned. And he's sanguine. Okay. And then we've got Grunt. Uh, Iron Stomach Psychopath. Well, I don't feel so bad about grinding them up. I mean, our people will, though. Let's just try and keep them alive and put them in the prison. 
Please, for God's sake, try not to kill them too badly. Stay back. Let her deal with it. Leg sweep. Nice. Uh, we could just capture now. There you go. Resource container. Nice. Uh, drop him there. I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> nice. There you go. Right, capture. No! Capture. Okay. Well, one out of five isn't too bad, I suppose. What have we got going on up here? You got 47 wood. No, thank you. We're going to build them little make bedrooms. I'm going to paint them. I'm going to feed them and look after them and name them. Ooh. Okay, that sounds good. I mean, that is really what I wanted. But that sounds good. We still haven't quite got enough Scarlet Collectors yet to keep both of them powered. Are we really not just breaking even? Oh, it's very close. Occasionally, it'll just tick up, but we're not quite there yet. Couple more, and I think we've got it. Right on time for this. Hang on. A lot with Luciferum, Mechanite Conversion, Luciferum. We could just try to make Luciferum, because that'd be really nice. Wow, I thought Scarlet Master would be the end of it, given the name, but that unlocks loads more. Scarlet Automation. Let's have a look at that. Automation. Oh, there you go. That's a lot last level. Build Luciferum Synthesizer and Precision Boosters, and then Reinforce Cores. Heavy sludge tanks with greater capacity. Ah, I love a greater capacity for heavy sludge. We could do with another good drilling expert, given that our last one is um, uh, horribly on aliveance. Let's go for, guess a skill download on King Snitch. Also, lots of people saying, oh, well, you not using the invulnerability on Chainsaw Hands. I don't know if you noticed, but she's been a bit fucking busy trying to invent mechs. She can't do both. Oh, chainsaw this, that, chainsaw, what a dumb. Uh, uh. I love a damn life. In fact, both of them can't do anything. <laughs> we might have to set both of them to meditate for a little while. I think it'll pay off in the long term. Like, the research can wait a little bit, but we're, like, completely shit up out of resources right now. And if we upgrade him as soon as possible to get that driller expertise, that'll be quite nice. Uh, King Stitch. Wild speaker turned master fracker. Psy level. Hey, there you go. In fact, I haven't upgraded those in a while. Well... <laughs> it's because we haven't done anything with it in a while. We're not going to touch any of the trees. Like I said, we're just going to focus on getting those bare stats upgraded because they are um, really helpful. So can you Psy hack yourself? Can you skill hack yourself? Um, we're on textiles factory. Damn it. Royal class shades, though, for the better Psy casting powers. I'm in. And they look very fancy, which unless you haven't noticed, has been really the key to this series. Imagine how much easier this would have been if we'd have had armor. What a game changer, huh? Suits or counterfract armor. I mean, it's an easy choice, isn't it? Can you, um... Oh, well, actually, we should blast you with chainsaw hands first. Not in that way. Uh, let's go... Mining on King Snitch. That seems like a great idea. Bazinga. Level 15 mining. That's enough for an expertise, right? Maybe I'm going crazy. Uh, well, let's do it again. Mining on self. You can hack your own brain. That's pretty mighty. Level 18! It's got to be tied to his uh, passion, right? He's a uh, he's, uh, uh, natural at it. Learns 200% faster, but it drops 300% faster. So it's kind of nuts. You have to keep him doing it. Um, drilling. At max expertise. What do you mean? What, what, what do you mean? Am I going mad? Am I losing my mind? Oh, you can only have one expertise and he's an architect. Oh. Shit. Well, now he's just got a completely worthless 18 mining. <laughs> okay, maybe it isn't that bad. Who's the next best miner? Anybody capable of learning? Boon. Big blind Boon. The big miner. I couldn't think of any way to mine things with the word B. Single super powerful psychic monocle. Who else could I give it to than chainsaw hands? That couldn't be any more perfect. I don't think we can build it quite yet. Prosthetics, weather controller. Mechanite medicine. A combat boosting drug and a bunch of mechanites we can plug into the clones. I like it. It's not sacrificing our humanity. I said our collective, our starting colonists. Or our colonists. These aren't, these aren't real people. They're just clones. <laughs> They're flipping the series from humans come first to big Ponkrell energy. <laughs> they did what? Sorry. Through clever strategies, large number of casualties and incredible perseverance, the patrons destroyed a destroyer. Oh. Oh, that's very kind of them. Thank you. I mean, I'm glad someone's out there destroying the destroyers. Well, that's, that was the plan for when we got mechs, just to clarify. We're going to get the mechs and we're going to go out there. It's going to be epic. Big showdown between, you know, one giant mech and one big old mechanoid ship. It was, I wasn't going to send the people in as they are right now. They probably get shredded. They're wearing suits, for God's sake. Looking for prototype crow. Or, ooh, these sound... What is that? 
The weapons which use crystalline shards that are homing on targets, these require advanced components. Hello there. Oh, what about armor penetration? 50%? That's pretty damn good. Oh, lustrous mechanize. Also, go for it. 6,000. Oh. oh, but it sounds really good. Shit. So now in the background, we've had a big problem to worry about beyond everything else that we've got going on here. All of those resurrections weren't free. They weren't just a simple, well, no problems anymore because we could just resurrect them. Our people have advanced resurrection psychosis. King Snitch is losing her goddamn mind. Minus 20% consciousness sucks because that uh, is going to impact the combat stuff, not to mention the dementia that comes as a side effect of that too. I think, sometimes, that we need to implant the first cortical stack in... What, what about chainsaw hands? No resurrection psychosis there. Well, that's bloody lucky. Um, I think the boon and King Snitch needs to be the first ones to get the bodies. Of course, we've already got Blue Boom there. We need a little new training to top that one off. Uh, let's give you the stack then. That will download King Snitch onto a floppy disk, and then we just install that into a new body, because this one, this one's shit up. Hopefully, you keep the Psylink. I wonder if you will. I mean, it doesn't really matter. We can train you up again. That's fine. We can if we get really desperate. If King Snitch is going to die, we can install that on the prisoner. Good old Benjamin, big old, big old Ben could become the brand new King Snitch. It's very, very ethical. <laughs> Humanity first. I cannot fundamentally believe I'm doing this, but there are people in the comments section of this series threatening a full-on rebellion unless I make the base as square as I promised. And apparently, the research lab in the middle is breaking the rules. So there you go. You've got a big square research lab that looks like shit. I hope you're happy. If this was your Egypt, you'd be thrown in the river. But luckily for you, that isn't. Aesthetics aren't important here. Except for the aesthetics of the human mind. Well. <laughs> <laughs> he says, injecting sludge into clones. Yeah! Some will say we've gone too far. I say we haven't gone far enough. Put the stack in the muffalo. Oh! Okay. Well, what was the caretaker? That was the big shield guy. Hello. <laughs> Much like the legendary scene in Star Wars Episode 1 of Phantom Menace. Quickly, change your hands! You said the booba! Must not have the booba! <laughs> masterpiece. An actual masterpiece. I want to hear any word against it. Horribly, unforgivably racist the entire movie. That's what it was like in the 90s. Stereotypes the whole way down. You look very angry. You look very angry. Now, what I did do, here's a big brain idea. Uh, if you build, hear me out, if you build a giant row of turrets, don't block the end of the turrets with a wall. Otherwise, it makes them way less effective. Do I want to give my turrets 180 degrees of vision? Or do I want to give them uh, 45 degrees facing our people? Oh my god, they are ripping those turrets apart. I mean, they're dead. <laughs> now we've got to try and deal with that guy before they get closer. Um, Hello. Oh god, jump, jar, jar. Jump. Hello there. Uh, now, go. Sweep the legs. Uh, Bazinga. Yes. Kill. Kill. Ah! That's a big explosion. Oh. <laughs> ah! And now fly. That was amazing. It was the best thing I've ever seen. Nobody will know it's chainsaw hands. Completely innocent. The combination of the agent powers and the exoskeletons is um, pretty nuts. <laughs> pretty nuts. They've also got incredibly good heat shielding. So if we didn't have the mechs, we wouldn't be able to do that normally, because when you slice it, it explodes. They're actually getting... I mean, they are still, what, like 10 charge lance turrets? So they're going to do a pretty hefty amount of damage. It's an expensive amount of damage when we're scrounging for shields, though. Oh, shit, they actually took one out. I'm not liking just the unstoppable side of them, though. Um, here, here's the plan. Here's the plan. Let's, let's come over to this side. Take some cover down here, and then when they destroy these turrets and they blow up, they'll kill our people as well. Okay, no, in all seriousness, though, this is to flank them so that we do the extra damage. Oh my god, and I actually think it might be working. Oh my god! I think I'm a genius. I think I'm a genius. I should try not sleeping more often. Don't draft up Sachiko, otherwise people will cry and complain. Wow, we actually can't touch you at all. Why did that one take so long? Hey, that's pretty good. Oh good god, there's a level of shades beyond the other ones. Oh, man. Oh, no, wait. The last shades are the ones that give the social impact. These are the side focus shades. Yeah, that is... <laughs> oh, my God. That's actually nuts. Um, 25% a day. 
just for wearing a pair of sunglasses. All right. Okay, fine. We need L's hex, but fine. Do we have any L's hex? Have we, have, we've picked up 16. Oh, well, shit. We might be good then. While sifting through various files on the research terminal. Excellent. <laughs> <gasps> Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. Meat was never on the menu. This planet does not have any meat. Uh, there they are. Whoa, you need a psychic shot lance and a psychic neuroformer. So we can eventually craft those two Altex. That's a cool recipe idea. There's all the various mate frame stuff. I guess I should start building some of this, eh? Just like queue it up preemptively. Let's just do it until we've got one each. We could also make that nuts mechanoid combat gear, right? Wait, isn't the utility gear 50% global work speed? Jesus. The combat gear minus 20% aiming time. Makes sense that we're taking apart the mechanoids and using our advanced technology to fight the mechanoids. I guess we could put the meat grinder in the bio room. Given that I haven't really done much with it yet. Uh, fertilizer. Sure, there you go. Done. Right, give me a meat grinder. I need that to turn well, people into other people. It's very convoluted. I wonder if it's more efficient to grind people into meat and then turn the meat into neutramine. Or whether it's better to grind the people up and then have our people make that into neutramine. Uh, what is that? Like five per... Five per how much? Five. It's one to one. That's a good ratio. Unless the other one is more. Maybe like two to one. That's crazy. No, it needs to be the other way around. That's bad. That's bad. <laughs> what if the other one was half as good? It's 6 a.m. Oh, you can see that. It's on the screen now. Hey, now people can know how much my life has fallen apart. Boone can gain expertise. Oh, hello, little Boone. Uh, disassembler Taylor weaponsmithing. Oh, man, he is a very good crafter. It would be a shame swap Boone over to mining. Well, no, because we don't really... We have another good crafter. His name's General Payne. I, I'm going to stick with turning him into a... Into a Drill Lord. What's the word for that? Miner? That doesn't seem right. What do you call a person who uses a drill? A builder. Advanced Scarlet Collectors that we do not have the power to run. <gasps> oh shit. Um. Wow, those are all really good. Uh. Ah, I'll take the Luciferium. I'll take the Luciferium. Hear me out. What if we build a giant pipe straight from my big sludgy tank right into, not just the vat itself, but right into the clone. And we fill them up like a jam donut. <laughs> <laughs> it's just occurred to me that there are perhaps metaphorical implications of doing that. And I would like to, your honor, I'd like to res rescind that previous message. I'd like that stricken from the record. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not as bad when it's landed, but that's very jarring. What are you? Demolisher. Okay, a little familiar with those things. We've got Behemoth. We've got Cicadas. Wowee. We've got a complete mix of mechanoids here. What are they building? Bursters. Bursters. Oh, and there's an Automorter, my bloody favorite. And it's already firing. It's time for the legendary shooting accuracy of Boone. <laughs> right. Uh, let's do one of those and aim at the ground and hope that we hit something. We did not hit a fucking goddamn thing. Well, we did, but everything I didn't want to hit. Oh, Corellin. Oh, sweet Corellin. That is a bad day to be you, my friend. Wow, that shield did not last very long. I don't like that. There's sweaty min max time. Uh, go. And then the second you get out that door, you're going to leap. You are going to leap. Carefully. We've got animals. We can turn those into meat, which we can turn into people. And then you're gonna leap. Did you get the plague? Down without the plague. That's good. That's good. That's great news. That's great news. Okay. Uh, let the turrets deal most of the damage. How long till you die? 12 hours. Oh, and you're not on fire. Oh, well, this is fine. You'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Stop screaming. My god. It's so distracting. <laughs> Boone, get back here. Get a mech suit. You need a while that you can get, my friend. Uh, then we should be fine. We should be fine. Everything will be okay. Well, unless they stand outside the range of my turrets. That's that's very rude. That's actually very, very rude. I want to take out that big guy. Let's see if we can leap behind him with chainsaw hands. Carefully. And see if we can knock him out before he becomes a problem. Super legs. And, uh, and, ka -chow. Nice. Never gets old. Oh, he's too fast. Shit. Well... That's a real problem. Her shields are down almost instantly. Sweep the legs. Oh, it's counted. Yeah, we're going to have to get her out of there again. Jump. Holy crap. Um, 
Wow, those things do not mess around. Holy crap. Well, she just about got away with it. Jesus. Are they going back to the cluster? I mean, if they do, we can go and pick Corillon up. Or they can keep pressing forward and fight the turrets. I'm fine with either way. Now, Sachiko, I'm going to put in a suit. And we're going to see if we can get Sachiko over there to pick up Corillon. Sneakily. The big guy lost his weapon. Oh. <gasps> okay. Um. Chainsaw Hands goes in and sweeps the behemoths. You go in and help out with some stuns. It might let her cover that ground a little bit sooner. Mech's going to blow either way, I think. Oh, what a dodge. Shit. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Sweep the legs. Uh, leg sweep. Kapow. Nice. Finish it. That's big brain time. Okay. Um, Big guy's not a problem because he lost his weapon. Let's see if we can bring you guys forward. Let's go in with a leg sweep on that guy. Oh, look at the stuns. They are working so well. General Payne, we need to stun up here quick. Go. Oh, come on, please. Please. Oh, he missed, you fucking fool. Oh, okay, nice leg sweep. Oh, he got back up again. They are too smart for leg sweep these days. Shit. Oh, yeah, like, come forward a little bit more, though. <laughs> like, shoot that one instead, genius. Kingsnitch? Uh, what the fuck are you doing? Did I just forget to draft up Kingsnitch? Well, that seems very on brand. <laughs> Sentinel's weapon's broken again. What's breaking all their weapons so fast? Nice, good sweep. We don't really need to kill it, but... Oh, come on! They're immune to the leg sweeps these days. Might as well take that one out while it's distracted. Get down here. Gone invisible. What do we do now? What do we do now? Oh, the turrets can still see it. Oh, yeah, but I don't think they can actually do anything to it, even though they... Something then provoked it into attacking chainsaw hands. It's her trying to kick it. She's trying to kick it, but she can't see the bloody thing. Come on. Come on. Sweep, 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 sweep the, sweep the invisible legs. I'm not sure it has legs. We don't really need to stop pissing around. Get out there. Rescue Corellan. Seven hours. We're actually going to be fine. You know what? We could probably send Sachiko over and let the others deal with the turrets. <laughs> it's just so good. It's just so good. Okay. Park your back. Tend fast. Without medicine, why are you not filling your pockets with medicine, you fool? I guess probably because we've only got herbal medicine. That's fine. That's okay. Uh, what's wrong with you? You just probably like lost a leg. Oh, it's not even anything major. Just a bunch of tiny little cuts. Okay, other than the invisible guy running around defenseless, if we can take out the mortar with the gorse rifles, I think we're pretty all right. Um, Naughty, come grab the rifle. And let's just go right down the center. Kill it dead. There you go. Nice. There's one less thing to deal with. We might as well let the explosion deal with the rest of it. Let's see if we can take that guy out. Ah! General Payne shot Boone. <laughs> we are really just tactical masters here. It's okay. Okay. Problem very much solved. Well done, squad. We lost a couple of mechs. Corona lost a, a little bit of uh, a little bit of blood. <laughs> a lot of blood. Almost died. Thank you, little chainsaw hands. Yeah, humanity first and all that. He says, um, grinding up corpses. <laughs> what is that? What was... Would well, you see that big cloud of red? Am I going insane? Oh my god, Sachiko, did you go on a drugs binge? Oh, lord. <laughs> well, you got very lucky. You didn't actually get addicted to it. So, I mean... That worked pretty well. Oh my god, look, we're actually stockpiling Scarlet. We've, we've done it. Oh, thank god. Well, that took a bloody long time. Now we need that final research to get the uh, next... Bruh. <laughs> Do you know how close I was to researching Marine Armor then? There it is. Fabrication bay, fabrication nexus, which of course the lab started with. Battery charging station, mech frame batteries. There it is. No! What are you doing? Not again. Not again. Not again. You can't kill Ivy. You can't kill Ivy. She is unkillable. We've been actually immortal. We cut her throat and she's just like sleeping it off. No! Right, now I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I thought that when they slaughtered one thing, they would stop. And I presume that that first one would count, but clearly it didn't because she's immortal. Uh, 
Well, guess who's going to meditate and bring Alvin Flying back? Oh! Well, shit. I mean, that's a fair trade. King Snitch is smarter. We'll learn quicker. All we have to do is resurrect the Carbuncle as a trade off. I think that's pretty fine. Unlocks the prototypical mech frame, the Crow. This general purpose mech frame is armed with a heavy machine gun hand, having the ability of rocket barrage, shield barrier, and shot blast. And, oh, teeth replacements. Finally, something for me. Hello there. My teeth are all falling out because I'm British. <laughs> hey, you all. <laughs> there it is. Assemble the crow at long last. We finally have it. We need one weapon, one power, two armor, and two shield. Okay. I feel like we have just the man for the job. Uh, it's general pain if that wasn't obvious. Also, we made the uh, the mech backpacks. So is it, you're going to do it 50% faster as well. And now what we need is 300 gold and 150 steel. I'm sure we must have scanned some in all this time, right? Surely we found some gold. There's some right there. Oh, shit. Well, I suppose that's better than nothing. It's taken a lot of sacrifice, a lot of death, a lot of combat, as it was always supposed to do. And a lot of research. Like a, like a lot of, like too much research. <laughs> semi-random research giveth, semi-random research taketh away, but at long last, it giveth exactly what I've been wanting for a long bloody time. One finished mech frame. Oh my god, it has to sit there and charge. I was gonna suck it out the power grid. Oh, I see. That's a cool system. Whereas our regular but still very strong exosuits have now 50 shields. Bear in mind that's after I knocked it down a bit just so that it was on par with our enemies. This thing has 1,200 shields. Tell me again about how I nerfed it too much. We're only going to build one of each type of mech. There are four mechs in total and we need four pilots for them. And I think it has to be Chainsaw Hands, Naughty, Boone and Corellan. King Snitch is far too valuable as our only other agent, as our only other resurrected to put him on the front lines. And General Payne is keeping this a well greased wheel. Wow, what a metaphor. <laughs> now, this particular mech frame requires a shooting skill of 12 and an intellectual skill of 8 to pilot. And that means there is only a single person, besides General Payne, who's not going to be piloting, who can actually do this. And that right there is Colony Savior Corellan. The well, same person everybody said I was going to ignore. There is method to my madness. Holy crap. Look at that. It does have a weapon built in. Unlike the exosuits that we've had. Oh, shit. Oh, it's pretty all right. That, that's uranium armored wall. But it also has a lot of other stuff, too. Rocket barrages, sealed barriers, shock blast, assisted combat. We haven't charged it, so we do need to we do need to sort that out first. Has the ability to give us assisted combat, which will automatically use those abilities. But for the time being, let's put the damn thing back on charge. Ooh, wait, that's so good. If that works the way I think it does, hold on. We undraft her. And she parks it back in the mech bay. Oh, that is a 10 out of 10 right there. We will look at our mech more closely tomorrow. When it's, again, actually charged up and we can use it properly. Thank you all for joining me on what has been, finally, what feels like a, a well-earned solution to our mechanoid problem. Stay tuned tomorrow. We'll see if it actually is a solution to our mechanoid problem. Or a very, very, very expensive fancy looking suit of armor for our colonists to die in. Thank you, in the meantime, to Compal, Feraldus, Zun, Delusional Khan, Shoujus, Tompage, Cloncho, David, Blackframe, This Be Willis, Cesium, C Mac, Big Danny, Mr. Hunk, Long Zombie, Chicken Robo, Toxin, Brittany Lee, Roan, Sean Howard, Jason C, Reptile, Baldor of the Hammer. Gwen, Buen Gun, John Stoddard, Samuel Burton, Damien P, Captain Marco, Hecadim the Lazy Arsehole, Nildraith, and Kerbo Supreme.
for their support the executive producer tears over on patreon there is still so much more to see we haven't scratched the surface with the sleeves or the luciferium or done any of the glitter well both the glitter net and the glitter world production mods as well there's still so much more to touch on and so much that synergizes together clones riding mechs amped up on luciferium just wait and see. It's going to be amazing. Thank you as well to Corviday, Gaming Stuff, Sleepless, Blaze, Andrew Sobrio, Adim, Zerbio, Kragon, Remy Remy, Salakata, Nikita Skorok, Skylar, Flem Flam, Ever Vigilant One, to Snarf, I'm OK MJ, shout this name out if you're a loser dingus, Adronius, Layforce, This Flex, Daniel Gleason, O&M, Skunkalope, Fluff, Carpsy, The Tax Collector, oh no, Amazing Moosh, Kebab Bowie Kroll, Christian Hernandez, Matt, and Omegador as well. See you all tomorrow. Make time at long goddamn last.